Aaron. Good morning, JB. Good morning. Hi. Welcome. Yes. Thanks. Thanks for having me on board today. So, where are we off to today? We are going to go to Southern Islands today and do some Madai fishing. Hopefully, we'll catch some greasy grouper here. Cool, greasy grouper again. I haven't had my luck with grouper, so probably this time, third time's the charm, right? Okay, so um, I've just been new to Madai fishing. Just started two weeks ago. Can you tell me more about Madai fishing? Madai fishing is an octopus light -like jig head. Mm -hmm. It works very well for grouper, as grouper actually love octopus as their bait. So yes, okay. let's go and catch some fish today. Okay, cool. So there's these two things that I picked up from all the uncles on board last two weeks, right? Is that um, there's such thing called a hybrid ma prawn where they attach prawns onto the madai jig. Yeah. So it's like feeding the fishes with like massive buffets. So do you think it'll work today? Madai prawn works well. I think it gives the madai an additional kick like there is the sand to it and that there is actually the prawn moving over there. Ah. Yeah, it's more lively presentation overall. Yeah. Well, so we are presenting the dishes to the fishes. That's how much we pamper the fishes, okay? And the second thing I learned is that the colour of the marae. Um, the more striking the colour, does it play a part in luring the fishes and attracting the fishes? Maybe yes, I believe. <laughs> since that um, anything with a red colour skirt works very well in our local water. Ah, but I would think okay. that it's actually how you work the marae. Marae is all about lifting, closing of the skirt and dropping it the opening of the skirt. So this opening and closing of the skirt is a very visual thing that actually attracts the grouper to bite. Ah, yeah. Okay, cool. So um, the weight of the madai, yes. that's an important part, right? Let me take note off. Yes. So today we'll be using 150 to 200 grams? Or? We'll be using 100 to 150 grams ah, okay. of madai here in Southern Island. We often fish at places that is like 10 over meters all the way to 30, 40 meters. Yeah, so such weights will be able to work well in our local water. Okay, cool. So, um, Aaron has mentioned something about Southern Island and this term is very, very common with all the local anglers. I'm pretty sure it's a popular hotspot. So, could you tell us more for the new, you know, for the new anglers, uh, what kind of fishes can we find at Southern Island? Southern Island is a little bit different. I think it's facing the big sea. So, actually here, it's actually littered by small islands. Like mm. today, we'll be hopping to like Sisters Island, St. John Island, a few of the islands to name. And these islands actually are surrounded by rocks and reefs. Ah. So you're going to find a lot of bottom feeders here in Singapore, like um, parrotfish, snapper, greasy grouper, definitely the fish we are looking for today. Cool! So we are out on a hunt for all these exotic pretty fishes. So I can't wait to see what we get on board today. So let's go! Let's go! Okay, so for today's setup, I'm actually using the Gumuku Iruto rod. Um, it's actually preferred for jigging. I mean, it's a jigging rod. As well as the Ryoga Daiwa baitcaster. So this reel is actually recommended for Southeast Asia fishing. Um, mostly rig for jigging. So for today, yeah, this is my Madai. So like what Aaron said, right? The more striking the colour, um, the more enticing it is for your fishes. So, let's see what we can get. This is the madai jig that we use here in Southern Island fishing. What we do is that we want the madai to actually drop down to the bottom of the seabed. And then constantly actually hop your madai. And while hopping the madai, this leaf and fall will actually cause the skirt of the madai to open and close. Such visual actually attract the attention of groupers to get them biting. It's good to use a high-speed reel. So once you touch bottom, you can actually control the depth very easily in one crank. Yeah. While hopping the madai, important is to let your rod do the work as well. Having a rod that is soft tip like the gomoku rod will actually be able to enhance the action of the madai presentation in the water. Okay, so Aaron, can you share with us some uh, madai jigging techniques? I think for madai fishing, it's first important to understand that we are actually targeting bottom feeders, mm -hmm. like the groupers. So, first and foremost would be trying to get your madai down to the strike zone, which is close to the bottom, where they normally will look around. Yeah, and then 
after getting a mother idea, just try to keep it at the strike zone because understand that grouper doesn't shoot up a couple of meters and try to grab the madai. Mm. They will normally be close to the bottom of the seabed. So hop your madai at the bottom of the seabed. Constantly find bottom because we are doing drift fishing right now. Yeah. So we may encounter undulating ter terrain that we might need to tune the madai depth. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so the challenge here is also not to get your madai, you know like sangko ah. Yeah, so it's important to feel that your mother has reached the bottom. So we understand that groupers are actually like very lazy, yet aggressive um, predators, right? So they, like what Aaron said, they don't come up a couple of meters. So what we have to do is to actually really have the mother down the bottom. I think it's about like presenting not only the mother in front of them, yeah, and it's to do it many times. Many times, uh -huh. yeah. So sometimes, even when they are not hungry, they are predated. They are, they are, they are predator instinct might kicks in. Yeah. Yeah, and get them biting. You see. It's on, and it's quite a good fight, though. So it's a pretty parrotfish. So like what Aaron said previously, right? In Southern Island, we can find parrotfish, um, grouper, and all and snapper. So this is one of the coral fishes that we're looking for, which is a parrotfish. It's very pretty. Look at the teeth; it's damn cute. The color of the madai plays a part. So can you, you can see that the color of the madai is a striking red. So in the water, it looks pretty attractive. So that's why the parrotfish will go for it. So there you go, look at the teeth. Oh, it's a little one. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. So there we have a little fishy, a little greedy one who is sticking up. More than he could bite. <laughs> you deflate and just toss it out the fish. You go, down, go back down. Yeah, oh. they're really very tough fish. Okay. Yeah, they're very tough I mean. fish. They'll swim back down to 40 meters. Yeah. You want to give it a go? Okay. So, what I'm doing now is to release the fish because it's too small size. Right? So, we gotta poke the better and toss it in. I think in fish science, big fishes. The alpha predators of the reef often would want to go for artificial lure because artificial lure not only get them biting because they are hungry, it's also because fish eat out of um, territorial, they want to guard their territory, they want to guard their reef, and also they would actually want to eat out of defense. You know, it's like when you have a madai down the seabed, it's like somebody stomping into your reef. And you, as the owner of the reefs, you want to protect your reefs. So you get the fish to bite out of hunger, aggression, defense. These are the advantages of actually using artificial lure. Southern waters of Singapore. Cheers.
Okay, I think this is a big fish because the bend of the rod is quite. Oh god, oh. So today I ferret a trick. Ah, yeah. This is like really jabu. There you go, parrot again. Mm. Yeah, me and parrot fish I think got something going on. Okay, so we've come to an end of for today's offshore fishing. And Aaron was very, very nice to bring us to different spots to try out the you know different madai techniques and whatnot. So today, the catches we've got is not too bad, right? So we've got ourselves some table size and one huge group of, in fact. Thank you a lot for today. No problem. Thanks. I hope to see you around and in time to come, we'll fish together again. Okay, great. Thanks. So if you do like our fishing marathon series, remember to like us on Facebook as well and subscribe to us on YouTube. So see you! Okay. So thank you guys for watching the Fishing Marathon. If you do like us, remember to subscribe, like and comment on our YouTube channel.